Well, our weather coverage continues with some in the North Bay preparing for the possibility of flooding, while others in San Francisco are cleaning up some damage. NBC Bay Area's Sierra Johnson joins us from Marin, where she has been keeping an eye on all of it. And Sierra, I noticed that all day today you've been wearing your rain jacket. You haven't taken it off. Yeah, hi, the rain jacket is really something you're going to need if you're heading out. The rain has slowed a bit. It's more of a misty situation, but that still can make things dangerous on the road. Something that has not slowed is the flooding. I'm going to step out of the way once this bus passes. If you look just at the top of your screen, we're at Lucky Drive here at 101 Northbound in Marin County. It's that area that had a little bit of pooling on the road. Uh, the freeway overpass signs even notified drivers that there was some pooling. It's on the far left lane again. Uh, Marin County northbound at Lucky Road. Um, and it's not just this area. The rain really making its presence known throughout the Bay Area. Take a look at this video. This is video we got from the Citizens app of a tree down on Sutter near Japantown. You can see that tree landed on top of a car. We didn't receive any reports of Um, we didn't receive any reports of injuries, um, but again, that video, uh, quite a scene there this morning and in the North Bay. We had crews all last night in the Skyhawk community uh, speaking with local law enforcement. They tell us fire crews have slowly transitioned from being on guard for the fires to helping neighbors prepare for the continuation of rain with sandbags. So far, crews say the rain has been manageable, but the attention really on those burn scar areas, the area where vegetation is gone and that loose soil is at risk of being washed away. So right now what we're looking at is how much rain we're going to get and what this weekend's looking like and hopefully be able to actually officially declare the end of fire season here locally. Which would be some good news, as we all know. And earlier today, thousands across the Bay Area were without power. This morning, PG&E showed clusters of outages from the city to the East Bay. But from what it appeared, those were not power shutoffs from PG&E. Now, a spokesperson from PG&E tells us outages aren't uncommon following a dry spell and then bouts of rain. That combination of dirt and dust on those lines combined with the rain could create problems. So again, right now we are at 101 northbound in Marin County, and it's that far lane that's that concern. Scenes you could see throughout the Bay Area because the rain has been continuing to fall. So if you're out on the roads, give yourself a little bit of extra time. And if you're in those communities where the ground has some burnage, be sure to keep a close eye for flooding. Those folks in the Skyhawk neighborhood have those sandbags. That could be a good idea if you live in an area where that vegetation is gone. We're live in Marin County, Sierra Johnson for NBC Bay Area News.